Welcome back on this beautiful day here in New York. Nice and sunny where we are. Hopefully everybody's having a great morning. A lot of action happened yesterday. Good to see you. Ken, Lou, good to see you. Andrea, Grant, everyone. Welcome, Cyber Traders. All right, let's get right into it. Looks like another exciting crash in the morning. Uh, looks like we had a nice little correction yesterday, but what a great comeback, right? We, I'll tell you, we got the oldest news on the tariffs and everything else, but um, I don't know. Um, market's like it, it's it, it's playing both sides, and that's the beauty about what we do. And and, and as much as, you know, you, you might I, like, you know, I speak to so many of you guys, and it's like some of you, it's pretty funny. You're like, well, I really don't watch TV too much, and I really want to pay attention. Sometimes you have to. This is your job. You know, you're a reporter. You're here to trade the market. If you, you got it, you got to be in touch with it and see what's going on. But looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a down morning again. Uh, really looks like uh, U.S. is really playing tough with China. So it looks like the tariffs gonna kick in. So it's it's gonna be a really fun uh, roller coaster. We did pretty well on those ETFs, but we did have a couple of good stocks that did move, and we're gonna check them out. Uh, and see what's happening. First of all, let's talk about what happened with yesterday, which we always like to start off. First of all, what let me bring up the um, the SB the SBGI. That was the coolest trade ever yesterday. I mean, I'm sitting there, I'm watching it, I'm watching it, I'm watching it, and right around the middle of the day, around two o'clock, I'm saying, you know what, guys, this stock is testing new highs, and Let's keep an eye on it because I think it's going to break out. And, sh and and within a minute or two minutes, I don't know if, uh, you know, the, the, the trade gods were watching us, but that thing just ran from 58 up to $60. Great $2 move. Ran all the way up to about 62 Just did not stop. And a lot of us cleaned up on that trade. So the thing is this, you can't go broke taking a profit. You know, granted, it came right back down, but... You know, that, that's part of trading. It's not about buying it at 48 and selling it at 62. It's buying it at 50, selling at 51, buying it at 56, selling it at 57. Always try to take the profit. All right? Always look at it. By the way, I'm putting that back on the watch list. So that one did pretty well. I know a lot of you guys did pretty well on that trade. There were a couple other ones also that did pretty well. You had this LCI. Uh, that one had a nice little pop uh, early in the morning, just went from like 840 all the way to 940. And then she had an, a big afternoon, crazy afternoon. I don't know what happened there at the close. The thing just popped out of nowhere. But um, like I said, you got last five minutes of the close, you always get this crazy volatility. And then um, we got this one other stock right here, the, the Beyond Meats, which by the way, I'm throwing it back on the watch list. The stock's an IPO, it just came public. And I guess it's not like the lift trade, you know, where it went to like 90 and came back down. This stock's actually pretty damn strong, actually. Shockingly, really has not stopped. But it is an IPO, and you know that if you're not an advanced trader, you've been here for a while, do yourself a favor. Stay away from these things. Unless you have deep pockets and you know how to control losses and, and, and know how to, you know, because you don't need to trade a lot of shares of these stocks to make a lot of money. Um, it's all about making your days pay. That's the goal. So be very, very careful. So, um, but anyway, I'm putting this back on the watch list because it looks pretty interesting. Anyway, so what's going on um, in the in the pre market? You know, like like I always say, early bird gets the money, and the BLIN the the B, uh, did really, really well early. And let me just fix this time zone so you can see a little bit better on what happened in pre market. So she started around eight thirty at, at around eight. Money. We saw it. A lot of us were logged in around 7 30, 8 o'clock this morning. Some of you were able to capitalize on her early, and then she literally went up about about a buck fifty. Could have made about 20, 30 cents. She held here for a while. She was holding strong. And, and I mentioned it earlier um, when it started backing off, when it hit nine. I said, you know, and I think Andrea saw it earlier. I mentioned, I said, you know what? Stock's got a big spread. Be very careful. I'm, I'm not liking how the stock is trading. And sure enough, boom, the thing just dropped. So, you know, you, one thing you always have to remember, always take the money. You made your day's pay. Don't think and look at the stock. Oh, but the stock was at $80 last year. Who in the hell cares? You know what? You could always buy it back cheaper. That's the way you got to look at it. But it's got it's got several months to get past, uh, you know, all that volume that it dealt with, you know, hovering between 10 and, and 15. So a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on there. But, um, but we'll put it on the watch list. We'll keep an eye on it. There are a couple other ones. Um, by the way, race Ferrari is obviously gapping up pretty nicely too. Ferrari looks like it's getting close to that highs. Uh, it was a great buy in, in in the Christmas crash, 
But, um, you know, this is, you know, I've been a big fan of this stock for a long time. I always say, if you can't afford the car, at least you could probably, I don't know about now, but you could, you could afford the stock. So uh, that's been, been a pretty good swing trade. And um, I know that was a hell of a roller coaster. We're going up from buck 40 down to about 95. But uh, listen, timing is everything. Listen, when you get these corrections in the market, you got to remember, guys, remember that whole correction, you know, and a lot of people now are saying, look at what was the correction. That correction really a, a lot had to do about the government shutdown. So as much as some of people, you know, didn't like the shutdown, thought it was worth and or in the market, it was buying opportunity because when they opened it up, boom. So just remember, everybody, you know, there, there are opportunities all the time. If it's if it's a government shutdown, if it's a financial crisis, if a company comes out to cure for cancer, you know, uh, if D Disney came out with the Avengers movie, whatever it may be, you got to always focus and and capitalize on it. What's moving and make money on that. But anyway, you know, when people tell me, I wish I, I wish I still had that, you know, bought more back then. Listen, there's going to be opportunities again. You might even have one now with the whole tariffs. So we'll keep an eye on that, too. So we got that one. Uh, the AKTS, throwing on the watch list. That one's gapping up pretty nicely, too. That's up about 20%. Got not the greatest um, orders out there on the on the matrix. Got a couple of hundreds. I got a 2,000 there buyer at 758. But, uh, but other than that, I'm not really seeing too much, looks like. But it looks like it's got some support levels right around here. You could see there's a 6,500 share buyer at 740, which is you know close to this support level right there. So I'll keep an eye on that one. That one looks pretty interesting. AKRX, another one that's going to make the watch list. Uh, that one looks like it's breaking higher highs, a little bit better of a trend. Um, it's got a little bit better of a momentum. Didn't really back off, which is a lot better. And the spread's better. The volume's better. And it, it, you know this one obviously is something that I think everybody here can afford to trade. The B one, the uh, I, I talked about this earlier. Let's keep an eye on this one. Once again, you got to be a level four trader. This is not a beginner stock. You need deep pockets. You need to, you know, if you're not if you're not a thousand dollar day day trader, stay away from the stock. But I know we have some here. This might be right up your alley. BPRX. Another one that's taking a, a very, very nice little big hit right here. Uh, it took about, I don't know, two months to get from, from three to six, and it lost it all in one day. Anyway, pharmaceutical stock, we, one thing we always, always mention, be careful. Pharmaceutical stocks do not come back. So be very, very careful uh, with these stocks that get very beat up like this. But let's see if it holds at support levels. Looks like it's got some supports right around three bucks. It could drop all the way down to two, but looks like it got some support levels there. X-E-N-T, another stock that's taking a nice little hit right here, down 21%. Looks like she still could probably break lower lows. So you got some support levels on a long-term chart right there, right below 25. See if you got to hold that support. You, you know I'm a big bottom fisher guy. So I love stocks that get crushed. You get people to wake up and they're like, they average down, you know, do a sucker's bet. That causes momentum. So uh, like I always say, Unfortunately, someone else's catastrophe is someone else's opportunity. EF, another one, very cheap little stock, was a $9 stock at one point, going up pretty nicely, decent spread, okay volume, 158,000 shares, but you got some great iceberg orders. You see there's a 15,000 share seller already out there at a buck 97, which we know $2 is a whole number. You can see this, it did back off at that, it hit that high and backed right off. Want to keep an eye, and there's another big 15,600 share buyer at a buck 76, which you can see that's where support levels are. So this stock looks like it could probably be a little bit more of an easier stock to trade with the trend and with the orders out there. So I think this one is probably up uh, right up everyone's alley. All right, so that's pretty much it. What we got going on in pre market. Always remember, guys, we always have more stocks that do come up when the market opens up. But as a pre market, if you didn't capitalize on any of these, this is what we'll watch going into the open. Uh, one last thing I do want to bring up Microsoft. I was, uh, you know, I don't know if you, anyone here has kids, grandkids, but we all know that, uh, you know, Microsoft has done pretty well, actually. And the reason why I'm bringing it up and, and talking about the kids is because uh, Microsoft is launching their new Xbox without a DVD console. Okay. Now, for that, it's an opportunity for the kids. Unfortunately, that's a catastrophe for companies that depend on people going to the store and buying the disc. So by Microsoft getting rid of that, 
Who knows? They might be leading the way towards the charge. That means probably Sony might do the same. So what does that tell you? Uh, what's the stock symbol? Shoot, I forgot the name on the top of my head. But um, but but GameStop might get crushed. You know, GameStop is a is a very popular store. Has done very well. They depend on people to go into stores and buy their DVDs. You know, uh, for the game consoles. So listen, that might be a great opportunity on the short. Does anybody remember that? I, I don't have it on top of my head. I didn't see it come up yet. But it, it's it's GME. Is that it? Yeah, GameStop, there it is. GME, okay. So anyway, listen, people looking at the stock with 17, it's down to eight. How much lower could it go? I mean, this thing could go down to three. I mean, it, it could really get crushed. If that comes to fruition, uh, this company could have some serious issues. So remember, someone else's uh, opportunity, someone else's catastrophe now. So maybe we capitalize on that too. So keep an eye on that on a swing trade. I'm going to throw it out on my watch list. All right, GME. All right, everybody. Listen, good luck, everybody. Remember, this week um, it's uh, it's going to be a pretty exciting week. You got you got to see what happens with these tariffs, and uh, you got a couple of big events that are coming on. So uh, let's just play it by year. Let's. It's, it, we're in the middle of Hump Day, so Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are always our best days. So let's try to make the best of it. And if uh, for all the new members out there that are listening in, hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys have been listening to you and and talk to your education advisor and uh, and just remember. I know everybody wants to trade. Doesn't mean you should. So the only way you're going to find out is sit back and watch. Just look, listen, and learn. Good luck, everyone. Oh, one last shout-out for our buddy Gene. Gene just made about 20 cents on the BLIN. It's the stock we called out. Very, way to go. Congrats. All right, everybody. Good luck, everyone. Happy trade. We'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon.